All right, let's talk about slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is the most functional, I guess, way to graph lines when you get into coordinate graphing or whatever. The nice thing about it, if you saw the slope thing, or we've talked about slope before, or you've talked about slope with someone else, depending on where you're seeing this, um, is it has both components. Like I've said previously in classes, mathematicians are not particularly clever. They're just functional. So the thing has slope in it and the intercept in it. So the m here would represent the slope. So whatever number is in front of x, that's the slope for your equation. And whatever number is after the x, so that if it's plus or minus, then that's the intercept. And in case of an intercept, it's talking about the y-intercept, the point where it crosses the y-axis. So if I've got this line here, this point would be my intercept and how it changes over time. That's the slope. And you've probably done slope a billion times before, but it is what it is. Let's talk about what kinds of questions you might see with this. If you're in a basic math class, anyway. What are the slope and y-intercept of y equals 5x minus 2? Well, the form for slope-intercept would be y equals mx plus b. So whatever's in front of the x, you might want to go ahead and circle. That would be the slope. So in this case, your slope is just 5. The intercept is the thing on the outside of the x, so anything in here. So my intercept, y, i, n, t, is negative 2. And that's it. That's all they're asking you to do there. They just want you to take the information and then use the information. Uh, the next is, what is the equation? It would help if I had it out under there, wouldn't it? It got stuck on my fingers. I'll just bring it over. What is the equation of a line with the slope negative 4 fifths and y intercept 7? And they want the equation in slope intercept form, even though I forgot to write that down. So I'm going to write the form down first. And I'm going to remember that slope goes in front of the x, so that would be negative 4 over 5x. Uh, the intercept would be whatever b is supposed to be. So since it's plus 7, I'm going to put plus 7. And I come back and get my y. What this really means is, say I'm at x is equal to 1. So I would go on the x-axis, and I would have half of a coordinate by being at 1. In order to find the point that matches on this graph for y, I would just do negative 4 fifths times 1 plus 7. And it would give me 6 and 1 fifth, so somewhere around this general vicinity would be a number. And if I wanted to know what it was, it'd say negative 2. I wanted to go to negative 2. I would go to negative 4 fifths. It would help if I didn't totally botch putting that fraction in, but it is what it is. Negative 2 plus 7. And I could see I should be at about 8 and 3 fifths over at negative 2. So a little bit higher, say somewhere around here. So my graph's going to look something like this. That's where it comes from, but it's so simple to do it the other way. But just to get the idea of why this works for this. This is what you plug in. This is what your result is, essentially. Uh, so let's talk about graphing it. What is the equation for the graph below? Now, since it's slope-intercept form, you need to find the slope, and then you need to find the intercept. So you need to find a couple points on the graph to find the slope. I'm going to choose right here, and let's say right here. So to go, my m value is rise over run. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 goes on top. If it was down, going down, I'd put negative. And then over 1. 2. So my slope is 5 over 2, so I'm halfway to slope intercept form. Now, I also need to know what the intercept is. Well, it crosses right here at negative 2, so my y intercept, or my b value, if I want to call it that, is negative 2. So in order to write the formula, all I do is go back into my original form, plug in 5 over 2 for the m, keep the y and the x, and then I put minus 2 for my intercept. Very simple. That's all you have to do to take a graph, make an equation. Find the slope, intercept, put them together, ready to go. Let's talk about actually graphing it on the graph paper. And I've made very bad graph paper here, but it is what it is. Um, when I have y equals negative 2x plus 1, if y is by itself, it's slope intercept form. I'm going to circle whatever's in front of the x. I'm going to make a box around this. The thing that's 
by itself on the same side of the line as X but not in front of it. So the thing in the box essentially is your intercept. So you're going to go plus one and make a dot. Then I need to look in front of the X to find my slope and it's negative two. Negative two as a fraction is negative two over one. This says to go down two and over one. The key here is to make sure you start at the point that you uh, drew here as your intercept. Don't go back down to the origin or something weird. Start right there. Go down two over one and then you've got your nice little line that you can connect y equals negative 2x plus 1. You can also graph these on the calculator and I have two calculators that are a little different that have graphing on them. Um, this is the TI-73 Explorer, this is TI-84 Plus, depending on where you're watching it. You might be using either one. It's similar on everything. As you can see it's got all the y equals things. That's if you're doing multiple graphs. All you have to do is type in what you have there, negative 2x plus 1. Over here it's the same thing. Let me get to the y equals section. Negative 2 and your x value is here in case you don't know. Plus 1. Then you'll hit the graph buttons. And they should graph it. And it looks pretty close to what I figured out, right? So there it is. That's the graph section. One other type we're going to cover. Write an equation in slope-intercept form that passes through the points 2, 1, and 5, negative 8. Now they say they want it in slope intercept form. So the first thing that we have to do is find the slope. And we're going to do that using the slope formula. Just like this. So x, y, x, y. That's the second one. That's the first one. So you end up with negative 8 minus 1 over 5 minus 2. And you could do negative 8 minus 1 gives you negative 9. 5 minus 2 gives you 3. It gives you negative 3. Or you can type it in. Like this. And hit enter. It'll tell you the answer for the slope is negative 3. That's the M value. And if you had the TI-84, by the way, uh, if you hit alpha Y equals, you start to get your fraction button in there. And you can do all your little negative 8 minus 1 over 5 minus 2 business. You hit enter and it'll conveniently convert to negative 3 for you as well. Anyway, I've got my slope, so I'm halfway there. Now I need my intercept. The, way, the quickest way to go from this, uh, from one place to the other, is actually using the form itself. Now, in most cases, we don't do anything with the y and the x. But to find the intercept, we're going to plug in the values of y and x from one of our points. And I'll just use the first one. So I know that the m value that I found out was negative 3. The x value up here is 2. The y value that matches it is 1. You could use 5 and negative 8 also, by the way. But don't mix and match. Don't choose like 2 and negative 8. That would be bad. So I'm just going to solve it. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Add 6 to both sides. B is equal to 7. So now I have a slope and an intercept. So all I need to do to uh, get a final answer is to put it back in the correct form. So you get y is equal to negative 3x. Negative 3 came from here. Plus... 7. So that can give you the answers that you need. You can work it out that way. Also, you're like, that seems really long and hard. You can also do it most of the time in a list menu. I'll just do it on this one. Um, I have to reset it. How annoying. All right, let me go back into the list. There we go. So if you put, say you have 2 and 1. If you put 2 in the first column, one in the second column, see how they look like the points, and then it's five and negative eight. If you do that, you can quit out. And you can eventually find something that's called the lin regre uh, the linear regression, I'm sorry. It just says lin reg, but it's called a, it's really a linear regression. See how it has the AX plus B part? That's very helpful. So if you type in your forms and hit enter, it'll tell you, based on the information, that your A value, or what's your M value, is negative 3, and your B value is 7. So all you need to do is put Y is equal to negative 3X plus
plus 7. Because that's what it said to do. It may be a little more complicated a couple times because you get weird fractions and stuff, but you can usually adjust for that. But that's how you do slope intercept form in multiple ways and all ways that are there for you. So I hope uh, you find this useful or you paid attention. That would be awesome too.